Hello everyone, my name is Ablutvi and in this video we are going to talk about the uh, diversity of organic molecules and these are the main subjects for this video and so without any further ado let's get started with our video okay so as you might know carbon chains form the skeleton or the backbone of most organic molecules and so these skeletons uh, can vary by two ways one is uh, physically physical differences and the other one is chemical differences so uh, by physical differences i mean that they can vary in their length and shape for example they can uh, be straight uh, or branched or even circular and uh, by chemical differences i mean uh, that they can differ uh, in their covalent bonds uh, meaning that they uh, that uh, these covalent bonds themselves can differ in their position and numbers that uh, on the uh, chemical or organic molecule okay and the other way that these organic molecules or uh, chains carbon chains can differ between each other is the is their prosthetic groups okay or the chemical groups that attach to these molecules uh, molecules or uh, again carbon chains uh, from the sides or top and bottom parts okay and here's a, a picture to illustrate what i just said Okay, so a uh, major group of these uh, carbon chains are the hydrocarbons, okay? So as you can see in these pictures, uh, hydrocarbons are organic molecules, of course, uh, that consist of only uh, hydrogen and carbon uh, atoms in their structure, okay? And as you can see in the right picture that just uh, p appeared, okay? Uh, they can also have chemical groups attached to uh, attached to them as in this case uh, these groups are hydroxide groups and petroleum or aka fossil fuels are the major group uh, major group uh, of these uh, hydrocarbons okay and i'm sure you know why the, uh, they are called fossil fuels but for those of you uh, that have forgotten it uh, forgotten uh, it's because that they uh, consist of partial uh, partially decomposed remainings of organisms that lived millions of years ago uh, and by organisms of course i also mean plants and other microscopic organisms and although hydrocarbons are not prevalent in most living organisms many of a cell's organic mo uh, organic molecules have uh, regions consisting of only carbon and hydrogen uh, of carbons and hydrogens okay uh, and to clarify that here's an example so the molecules that are known as fats uh, like triglycerides or phospholipids that are in the cell membrane have long hydrocarbon tails attached to a non-hydrocarbon uh, component okay as uh, shown in this picture so now let's talk a little bit about some of the characteristics of uh, these hydrocarbons okay and as you know neither petroleum nor fat dissolve in water okay and i also mean the cooking oil that we use in our kitchen okay so uh, that's because of the fact that they are hydro hydrophobic compounds and the hydrophobicity is because that the great majority of their bonds uh, are relatively non-polar carbon to hydrogen linkages okay and another characteristic of uh, hydrophobic hydrocarbons uh, is that they can undergo reactions that release uh, a relatively large amount of energy uh, and even hydrocarbons are also the main fuel for plants embryos okay 
meaning the plant seeds okay and by the chart uh, below i mostly mean uh, that because they they have uh, lots of energy stored in their bonds and inside their own uh, molecules uh, they are great storage storage molecules uh, for uh, plant seeds and animals okay so yeah that uh, was all for uh, this video uh, and i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and share this video uh, and as always until the next video happy learnings to you all